year 2025, there was a young girl who needed information about the water wheel plant for a fifth grade project. Ew, I wish I chose the car. Whoa, excuse me there, girl. Welcome to the house of carnivorous plants. How may I help you? Hi, I'm Sally. I was wondering if you could give me some information on the water wheel plant. Oh yes, the aldrovanda. I can tell you lots on that wonderful plant. As a matter of fact, it's in the tank right here. Come and see it. See it? It's that swirly plant over to the left. Now, I'll show you an actual picture of it. So what's your first question? Where does the plant live? The water wheel lives in Europe, Asia, Africa, and Australia. The water wheel's habitat is clean, shallow water with bright light, low nutrient levels, and slightly acidic water, around 6 pH. What is the life cycle of the aldrovanda? The aldrovanda starts as a seed that fell off another aldrovanda's flowers. Next, the water wheel starts growing in a stream. Then, after growing to adulthood in the stream, the aldrovanda starts growing flowers. After the flowers go underwater, the seeds fall off it. The seeds sink to the bottom of the stream, and the life cycle starts over. What are some interesting facts about it? Some interesting facts about the aldrovanda are it has 60 to 80.5 millimeter trigger hairs per trap. It takes trap 0.01 to 0.02 seconds to close, and the water wheels grow rapidly, even though they are rare in their native area. How would you describe it? The Aldrovanda vesiculosa is the soft stent species of the flowering plant genus Aldrovanda, family Drosoraceae. The Aldrovanda feeds on small aquatic invertebrates. The water wheel's traps are arranged in rolls around a center, free floating stem. The Aldrovanda is one of the few plants capable of rapid plant movement. The genus Aldrovanda is monotypic meaning extinct species are known to have existed. Now let me show you a tour around the rest of the place. Come along now. This is the Nepenthes alata pitcher plant. This thing can eat a frog. This is the cobra lily. It can go up to two and a half feet. This is the stap plant. It can grow in five colors. Over here to the right is the Venus flytrap. Of course. Yeah.